All right, here we go. Question number 13 from our college algebra homework number three in my lab math wants us to solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. And so I will demonstrate up here in this window how to complete the square. And I'd like you to notice that this quadratic equation, it's quadratic because there's an x squared and no bigger power, is not equal to zero. And when you want to complete the square, you actually want the constant to be on the other side. So this is actually uh, a good start for completing the square. So notice the way I've got it written down up here, I left an empty space here where the constant should be because when you complete the square, you come up with a new constant. Okay, so let's look at how do we complete the square. Well, the first step is you take the coefficient of x, in this case, which is plus 4, and you divide that by 2. Always divide by 2. So what is that? 4 divided by 2 is 2. That result, then you square it. And that's going to give us our new constant. 2 squared is 4. Okay? So this is the process of completing the square. You take half of the coefficient of x, whatever that is, you square it, and that's your new constant. Now notice I did add 4 to the left-hand side, so that means I also need to add 4 to the right-hand side. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. Now let's see what we've got. We've got x squared plus 4 x plus 4 equals negative 3 plus 4 is 1. All right, so now let's see what is so special about completing the square. It turns out that this new trinomial that we've created is going to factor nicely. So if I read the signs, they're both going to be positive x and x give me the x squared. Now look at this. Numbers that multiply to make 4 and add to make 4, 2 and 2. Notice that those factors are identical. They will always be identical when you complete the square. Okay? Over here we still have the 1. And now look what I've got. I've got something times itself we can simplify that to x plus 2 squared. Anything times itself is that thing squared. And now we can get rid of the squared by taking the square root. But whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So I've got to square root both sides. A square and a square root cancel leaves me just x plus 2. Over here, the square root of 1 is 1, but I need a plus and a minus. Anytime you take the square root of both sides, you get a plus and minus, whatever that is. In this case, plus or minus 1. And now notice, since there's no exponent, I don't really need these parentheses. And then I can move my plus 2 over. So, plus 2 comes over makes minus 2 plus or minus 1, and then I can do the plus and the minus separately and get my two solutions. So negative 2 minus 1 and negative 2 plus 1. That's going to give me negative 3 and negative 1. Those should be my solutions. Let's check and see if we're right. Negative 3, comma, negative 1. And I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.